to matter its highest level. It's a bit of flashing occurred there at the mid level. Dimming range isn't that great. If we just switch this off, we should be able to reprogram it. Is available in the advanced program instructions. I've adjusted the settings on the Illustrum Rhino, uh, but I'm still not happy with the dimming range. Um, I'll show you now, it's at 100%, and then I'll dim it down. Although there's no flicker, there's just no dimming range. So I'll just switch that off and introduce a resistive load to the circuit. This adds um, 10 watts, but more importantly, it tricks the dimmer switch into thinking it's dimming an incandescent type load. And let's see what difference that makes. As you can see, it's got a decent dimming range now. It's down to about 20%. Let's turn that up to full brightness. Zero flicker on that. And then that has solved the dimming issue with that one. So I'm going to say that was compatible as well. And that actually works, um, but only dims down to around 50%, which is still quite bright. Totally silent as well. So it works at hundred percent. Let's do it down. So it's dimmed it down to around 50% flicker free. Some buzzing can still be heard though. And that's at its lowest setting that we've got it to there. Just increase that to 100%. So it's dimming them down to around 50% there without any adjustments of the programming settings. And there's no flicker and no buzz. And that dims down to around 40% without flicker. Still fairly bright because it's a bright downlight though. But we'll be fine for our bathrooms and kitchens at least. Uh, totally silent, flicker free, but it's only dimming down to around 50%. And as it is a bright downlight, it might still be too bright for some applications. <laughs> 